Hi and welcome to the second project of the week before Christmas. This week it's the small workshop YouTube makers from Facebook. I've all decided to make the same project which is a snowman and um, it's all in whatever fashion we decide to make a snowman and I shall leave all the links below to the other makers it will probably be over the next couple of days from this video going out that they'll all be there. I hope you enjoy it. This is my attempt at a snowman. Hope you enjoy. Thank you very much for watching. Hi and welcome to the Small Workshop Facebook page <clears throat> um, Christmas Snowman Challenge. Now. I could have wood turned a snowman but I'm not very good at wood turning so I thought I'd do something that maybe others might not be doing I could be totally wrong here but what my thing is to do I'll turn this round for you is I'm going to make this snowman like a standing plaque with a small plinth or something to hold it upright um, it's probably not really going to be for outdoors. It, it probably won't even be in my house, but th this is the project I'm doing. So, <clears throat> what I've done here is I've got some, this is just, I think it was wood that came off a bed at one time. And I've just cut it down to roughly the size I need. I think I only need actually three. Three here. And what the plan is to do is I'm going to go and cut all the way around here and then I'm going to draw the outline around here. No, what the plan is, as you can see I've thought about this a lot. So I'm going to use this three slats here. I'm just going to secure them with these battens across the back. They will be glued with a small screw or a nail in them. It's going to be nothing spectacular. So they'll be cut off there. There'll be, I think there'll be two of them. Or maybe three. I'll do one at the bottom, one in the middle and one at the top. <coughs> and yeah, I think that'll be it. So I'll put this together um, with three slats on the back and then once it's all joined together I'm going to stick this to the front and I'm going to cut round it on the bandsaw because it won't be too thick so I should be able to move it around fine on the bandsaw and then once I've done that and I've got the initial shape of of this I'm then going to be cutting some extra pieces of wood out to place over the top for that, for the scarf. I thought I'd even make one of these. I'm just going to colour them with um, probably Sharpies. It's going to be nothing more fancy than that. And a couple of little hearts for here and the little hearts for the bottom. <coughs> and then the face which I'm I'm not quite sure what I'm going to make these with. I might just cut them out in extra bits of wood and colour them in and put them on all oh, this patch from the bottom. So that's the plan. So what basically I need to do first is to get these bits attached. It'll probably be all done on time lapse. There'll be nothing in real time that's why I thought I'd explain it to you now so I'll go to the shed cut these down to size glue and um, attach them onto here whatever way I decide and then um, glue the shape onto it cut it round on the bandsaw and I think once I've done all of that I may well come back after that but yeah Let's get started. Let's make a snowman. Right, 
Okay, that's me out here ready to start. Um, I just wanted to say the light is pretty poor in here because we've had quite significant snow, so um, there's not a lot of light round here because the roof that's normally clear with me is completely covered in snow. And the lighting that I have in here is quite orangey and not that great. I mean, it's fine to work in, but it's not great on camera. So, anyway... I'm going to start this time lapse and uh, we'll see how we get on.
thought I'd come back for a minute. That's the back dry now and I've cut all the bits out and shaped them all. So the next thing really is to get them all coloured in and get them all placed onto this board. And then I think I'm going to use epoxy glue to glue it all down. But yeah, the rest of it could be all done inside. Thank God for that because it is so cold out here today. I think it's minus six. I do have a, a little heater in here which I have directed at my feet. So <laughs> managing to keep one. Okay, and welcome back. Um, that's the snowman all finished. I was actually really pleased the way it came out. These bits are just glued on with a little bit of epoxy. Um, as you can see there, the bits are quite thick. On the back, obviously, is the, the three struts that I used to support it. And I just put a key thing in the back so it could be hung up on a wall. It ended up, because it was that small, I thought, well, it would probably be more of a wall thing. So I hope you enjoyed this um, little challenge that um, I'm part of. Um, please, I shall put links to the others in the bottom. Please go and check out everybody else. And uh, yeah, feel free to share it as much as you like. I hope you enjoyed this one. I know it was all on time lapse, but um, you could see everything that I was doing and it, it's just a Christmas challenge, something a little bit different, I'm hoping from maybe what the others have done. Um, so if you like what you see, give that thumbs up. If you didn't, give the thumbs down. And any comments, please do leave them below. Like I say, this has been the small workshop facebook page challenge and um i shall put all their links in below thanks very much for watching <laughs>